The Standard Bank Joy of Jazz Festival ended on a high note last night. Our report on Dundu Zitorle caught up with seasoned jazz artists and opera vocalist uh, Sbongila Kumalo. Kumalo reflected on the recent wave of gender-based violence cases gripping the country. All your performance, you know, comes at a time when, you know, we are facing the scourge, you know, um, gender-based uh, violence femicide you know do you think um, music can be used um, to heal our nation music is always used to heal the nation um, artists musicians more specifically are reflectors of what the nation or a nation is is about the state of a nation so Invariably, you know, we we are affected. We are humans, human beings. After all, we are citizens of the country, not in way to. Mm -hmm. So whatever is happening, whatever affects you and the other person, affects us as well. I mean, I am very certain there are very few people in the in the industry, um, whether it's in the music industry or, or performing arts broadly. I am almost certain there are very few people who are not affected by it, or whether it's somebody you know personally or somebody who's, a, who's associated with somebody that you know, you know that kind of thing, and it's, mm -hmm. it's a spiral, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I was sitting in, in the audience and, you know, when you were playing um, Mountain Shade and I saw, you know, everyone in the audience and, you know, re responding and young and old. Mo, when you write your music, do you, do you have a, do you write for specific people or is you just write and hope it will have that impact? Firstly, I didn't write Mountain Shade, the music itself. Yes. I only wrote the lyrics mm -hmm. to it, right? Mm -hmm. I only wrote the lyrics of Mountain Shade, one. Two, um, th th there are certain messages that may resonate with a particular group or a certain group um, of society and, and maybe not others. But, but the, the, the major thing for me is to write music that people across generations can, can respond to, can relate to. Um, Mountain Shade, you used, you've used the example of Mountain Shade. Um, little girl, um, I've had six-year-olds, ah, oh, mama, ah, oh, that song. I've had, I've had 60-year-olds mm -hmm. relate, relate to it. And I suppose the point is you, you not you, I um, create music that I hope um, all sectors or, or various sectors of society mm -hmm. can respond to it the message in the music mm -hmm. will grab some and it, it might not grab others mm -hmm. um i don't i don't set out to write a song for our coco yes. yeah. yeah. and 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 that it 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 resonates with with people across generations mm -hmm. is very gratifying for me because um i guess the music then becomes and remains universal in that way and in terms of um, coaching and uh, mentoring um, young people, young musicians up and coming, how important is that for you? It is very important. It's extremely important. I may not necessarily do it of, um, formally as in a classroom or in a lesson, a structured lesson, but it's something I do all the time. Mm -hmm. because Also because I work with young people every single time. I mean, I, I, you probably noticed the band yes, that I work with. People. It's very young men for that matter. And, and for me, it's, it's, it has become very important and very significant to work with young guys because a lot of the time we affirm young women. Mm -hmm. You know, we're taking a girl child to work. We're taking it, we're doing this for the girl child. Mm -hmm. um, and the younger guys, the younger men, the younger, yeah, the younger guys do feel left out, mm -hmm. you know, they do feel left out. And, and as a mother, as an elder, um, mm -hmm. we must engage them.
we must understand what, what, what worries them. What is it about what's happening in this country that is making, what, that makes them uncomfortable, that makes them unhappy? Mm -hmm. How can we correct that? How do we fix that? Mm -hmm. you know? and, and, and there's no, it's important to do it for young girls, but it's no, the, give me, it's, it's, it's hard to understand how we expect to fix anything if we don't get, get to engage with the people that we perceive mm -hmm as being the problem in society, even as they may not necessarily be a problem per se. But mm -hmm. and, and some of the things we say, you know, they say the actions that we, we, we take are a manifestation of the thoughts in our heads, right? So we need not, as women, as mothers, as sisters, as aunts, as gogos, and so on, we need to check ourselves, Nati, and make sure, Uguti, we don't, we, we, we don't, we protect ourselves in how we carry ourselves. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that makes sense. Okay. And, 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 and I know what it, you know, it may, it may, it may be like I'm talking nonsense because, you know, I, I will not pick up a knife and stab myself or pick up a gun and shoot myself. But you know how sometimes they, they talk about, um, people talk about inja is a gloomer because it senses what we are yeah. and, and and I find I'm, no I don't find I wonder a lot of the time what it is that we need to do right to protect ourselves and I think my sense is we need to check ourselves as well but see see we had a time when 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 we had a rash of HIV and AIDS mm -hmm. in this country mm -hmm. and a lot of the time virtually all of the time we're talking about HIV and AIDS this, HIV and AIDS that. And I think GBV also maybe, just maybe, mm -hmm. you know, might be also contributing, the thoughts mm -hmm. in our minds around it may also be contributing, contributing to it. But also, maybe we shouldn't call it GBV, yeah. just call it what exactly it is, what it is, yeah. you know, because mighty GBV, whatever I'm, I'm not mm. going to mention it township because I was out talking about discriminator I understand what it should be in we and I was good to him to an aim to another same to an aim to another you know and yeah. and and unfortunately this thing is generational sure yeah. but we must just call it violence right it's violence or, or, or whatever other name other than just calling it to be which be he need to be do you do you find that um, <laughs> no, do you I hear you do you find that um, Slambe, every generation has uh, uh, different struggles that they, they they have to deal with and sometimes maybe you know the battle you know is to in our generation to ask ourselves Guti, what legacy are we leaving behind you know as because definitely your generation delivered freedom to us but tina what are we delivering do you find that that is maybe the challenges the generational really, challenges yeah I, th I think so i think so i think i do i do believe that each generation has its own challenges mm -hmm. that it must address and perhaps one one other issue could be each generation here too may have delivered uh, democracy as mm -hmm. it is called but maybe our generation didn't deliver the freedom to think and act in a particular way and mm -hmm. and maybe we didn't we we, f we forgot to nurture properly mm -hmm. we, we forgot to nurture effectively we forgot to 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 mentor effectively mm -hmm. you know so we 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 need to be able to do that. We need not. We need to t take a step back and say, mm -hmm. okay, where did we miss it? I mean, mm -hmm. the guys of my generation, for instance, um, and they might kill me for saying this, but the guys of my generation were busy. We're so busy in the struggle and fighting for the freedom of this country that they forgot to nurture their boys and I'd use that word deliberately to nurture instead of mentor because a lot of the times we mentor the, the girls yeah. I mean the guys and we we mentor the women right but young guys need to need it need to be nurtured yeah. because we live in a different time yeah. mind you so 
people are, um, are conscious of their um, of their rights, yes. right? But very few people take care of their responsibilities, maybe. Mm -hmm. And so, part of taking care of that responsibility is to take care of the environment, or mm -hmm. pila right? And so, abantuana be to don't know how to live in the world mm -hmm. that we live in now. Say as it's a different world, yeah. but a lot of times they don't know what. It, and an artist say, "Ienza le mistake." Since the say, "Ienza le mistake." At ah, in doyo buti a guy akuvule lunyang. Eh, angi this si we si a woman's thing was my jere. As funu vule lo minyang, as funu patelu is kwama, as funu gwen zeloani, as funu gwen zeloani. So si tlapa fana bienza ni ngale testosterone nga agaba na yo. What must they do? What must happen to that? I suppose there will be other ways of of of, of dealing with those issues, but these are very real. These are very real um, um, issues that we have to contend with. Do you, do you think e, uh, technology, social media has actually aggravated some of the issues? And also, like going forward, what, you know, how do we resolve this? Teach your children not to sit on the, uh, on the, on the gadget for six hours a day. In social media, yeah, I'm talking, I'm being flippant now. But the th social media, like anything, social media has a lot of value and it has challenges. Mm -hmm. In social media, what it does, ama lama phone, as well as my smartphone, ama laptop, ama iPad and so on, ama tablet. When you, when, you, when you log on to one of these things, and you, you, you look at what's on there and you're compel, compelled to respond or to mm. post or comment. You are reacting to mm. something that somebody else wrote. Mm. You are not proactive and, 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 and being um, out there for yourself mm. independently. Then we talk of trolls. Right, and then everybody is like, "Hey, imagine, hey, we find a good way, Johnny, we Johnny." We we just. I heard somebody say the other day, "Take at least an hour before you do anything on yeah. the on your phone to do something else, yeah. so that you can think of your day, you can think of your life mm -hmm. first thing in the morning." But a lot of us, and I'm including myself here, Vugek said, "Yeah, you reach out for your phone, and you see what's in there, you you want to." Comment. No more. No more. Who's disciplining? Is things catchy? Who born? Who to corner in the panel? You say, oh, but but Oxala, you you in yeah. there. Yeah, that space. Yeah. Abantu ba pila go Instagram, go Twitter, go. It's the Insta life. Mm. It's not your life. That's not real. Yeah. 